Suari, this kanji, uh, uh, you can read the uh, suari or za means to sit. Right? And in Japan, uh, of course, you might have different way of sitting, but you use those two kanji, seiza, seiza. So obviously you can hear that I pronounce the same, but this kanji, And this one are different. And uh, then you have Anza. You recognize that this za sit. So it's about sitting. Seiza in Japanese says is tadashi means correct, to sit correct, to sit correctly. What does it mean to sit correctly in uh, Western Europe? So obviously we need here, there is a, a, a cultural aspect very important to understand. And finally there is this very interesting seiza and this kanji means shizuka, which means quiet, calmly. Calm, quiet, uh, uh, gentle also. So sit quietly needs first to have a correct structure. And finally you have this one, anza, and this kanji, an, Alors, of course, you can read this Yasui, which means cheap. So, sit in a cheap way. Uh, as you can see, it sounds strange even in English. Uh, in French, uh, ça soit pas cher. Non? So, uh, even if you smoke, uh, you don't get it. But it means also uh, safe, safety. Everything that is sure, safe. So, sit in a safe way. Right now, uh, it's pretty much generic word because you can sit on a chair correctly, more or less, spine, but who, and quietly, for sure, if you shut, shut up. Uh, what does it mean in classical martial art? Because you need to understand that those three things, that then you have zagamai, so zagamai, it's the kamae, the spirit attitude when you sit, what your sitting position reflect. Huh? It is something connected with the people who, let's say, the yes, the the civilization who are used to sit on the floor. And Japan is Africa too, certain part of uh, uh, Asia. But Japan have this culture where we sit on the floor. So what people translate by kneeling, sitting doesn't exist in Japan. The word doesn't exist. It's actually what you saw that you translate in word. And here is what it is that you need to reflect and materialize as a human being, but also inside a um, historical context, sociological context. To see it correctly, First, it's, oh, some people are going to be like this, you need to be open, etc, etc. Yes, maybe, sit correctly is automatically connected with sit quietly. Quietly is how your bones, your muscle doesn't hurt. You need to sit correct, quietly in a way that, for example, if you have to pray, if you have to read, your position allows you to do it a long time and doesn't hurt you. Because if the position hurts, then it's going to affect your concentration, your focus, and then the pain will come and you won't be able to read, you won't be able to be quiet or to maintain that quietness. And for that you need to know how to sit correctly. So many schools are going to have, and to sit correctly actually it's to be natural, but how, what it is to be natural. And for that in classical martial arts you understand this aspect of safety. The way you sit, it's not only where you sit, it's how you sit, the moment you sit, and what you what your body gave as information in the way you sit. So that's what Sawadigata is about, ladies and gentlemen. It's not just a kneeling position technique. So today, uh, of course, we have nine ryuha, and those nine ryuha are created by Japanese. So some of those nine ryuha doesn't show Sawadigata. It's not written. Toga Koryu, for example, Gyokoryu, for example, Kotoryu, Gikonyu, Gyokshinu, Kukshinuyu. Alright, Kukshin is depend. Uh, but when you look at Takagyoshinu, uh, Shinden Fudoryu, uh, they are the two schools where already you start uh, one with that kind of Yubisaki Tatsu. So this one is what we call Jisen Tekini. It's not a way to sit, it's no way to wait. To wait. Uh, your lord, or to be like this, to be like this, we call this tatehiza, you have all those kind of things, and at that moment, 
then you can do you can charge you can attack you can receive uh, do you have also this one called agura uh, that you find also in shinden fudoyu and kotoyu like this uh, and of course this one like this uh, this is also onza this one like that and also this one like this all this are kind of anza so arigata. Takagi Oshinyu uh, in Urawaza, for example, you sit like that. Uh, and you have, of course, this. And a lot of people does not practice this because they hurt the joint. Now, it's not because they hurt the joint, it's because lack of flexibility. Uh, and it's true that it hurts the joint. Yes, of course. But over there, they can sit like this for 30 minutes, 20 minutes, and we need to reach that level. And when it hurts, no problem to do things like this, you know, under the table, of course, always. Why under the table? Because it is considering to be impolite to do this as a warrior, or even to show the feet. Uh, and uh, for example, in all the country where you sit, sitting like this, for example, in certain area, mosque and things like that, even if some people do it, it is not correct. So in the aspect of correct and quiet, there is this aspect of respect, etiquette and also Anzen. So we're going to practice this and I could pick up a few techniques from Takagi Oshinyu. I bring the scroll, we will do it. Before that, I want to show you another way. A cool way. We have nine schools, so I said there is nine ways of doing it. 